Many people want to know how my kids do morning chores automatically. I'm Nicolene Peck and I teach parenting, relationships, communication all around the world through the lens of self-government. And in this video, we're going to talk about morning chores and how you can help your children do them automatically too. share with you what doesn't work to get people to do their morning chores and then I'm going to share with you some special skills and strategies that you can use to help your children learn to embrace doing morning chores and not want to ever forget them again. Many people struggle having their children do morning chores. So they make elaborate boards or maybe sticker charts. They tell the children, just do these five things. And for some reason, the children still don't get those morning chores done. And they wonder why, is there some magic secret to morning chores? How do we get them to do the things that they are asked to do? It doesn't seem like rocket science, right? Well, many times the approach that people are taking to get the child to do the chores is actually counterproductive. So what you don't want to do is nag your children. So often we wake children up in the morning, we get them going, and then the nagging starts. Go do that. Be sure to go do that. And we start micromanaging every single thing they do. When we do that, we're actually taking away the authority from them to control themselves and follow through with the instruction that we gave them. So we're disempowering them and creating entitlement so that they feel like that they deserve for you to tell them what to do every second. In fact, we're making it so that they don't have to keep their thoughts clear in their mind and think for themselves. This is not good parenting, even though we're really trying to help them succeed. We don't want to have to do negative consequences. We don't want to have to spend time later on it. We don't want it to take away their friend time, all these kinds of things. And that's why we start the nagging. But just right now, resolve, I'm not going to nag anymore. In fact, instead, Instead of nagging, there are other things that you can do that are much more effective. One of the most effective skills that I ever teach my children is the skill following instructions. In fact, a person cannot learn self-government if they do not know how to follow instructions because truly the process of self-government for an individual is that they give themselves instructions and then they follow through. When we're talking about a morning routine, we're talking about that very process. That a parent would say, here's the instructions that need to happen. And then the child would say, okay, self, these are the instructions that need to happen happen, let's get going. This is the process of self-government. Now, all children develop at a slow rate. Their prefrontal cortexes are not fully developed until they're between the ages of 18 and 25. But don't worry, it's not going to take till 25 before your child learns how to do their daily routine and their daily chores. No, they can start doing those things when they're very little. In fact, children as young as two years old can learn the skill set for following instructions. So what are the steps to follow? following instructions, you look at the person, keep a calm face, voice, and body, say okay or ask to disagree appropriately, do the task immediately, and then check back. So if I ever want my child to follow instructions, then I make sure to pre-teach them, hey, this is an instruction. Remember the steps to following an instruction are, and then I repeat the steps, and then I say, here's your instruction. I need you to clean your room, or I need you to make your bed. Okay, and then they say okay, and they know they've got to get to the check back so that then I praise them when they're done. This skill is actually the nucleus of how to get children to do their morning routines all on their own. So when a child understands how to follow an instruction when a parent gives an instruction, then you can tell them that those morning routine instructions that you've been telling them to do one by one. So basically you're saying, here's an instruction, do all five steps, come report back, get praise. Here's the next instruction. That's how you would originally teach the things they needed to do in the morning. This is not nagging. It's just giving individual instructions and then praise. But there's a point where you can say, you know that morning routine, you know those chores that you need to do every single morning? Those are actually 
understood instructions. So what that means is those are instructions that are just understood. I don't have to say this is an instruction. In fact, I'm going to tell you right now that every day before 9 a.m. you need to have these three things done or these five things done. We will make you a list so that you can see them. But at 9 a.m. I will check them off and I may not ever tell you that you should do them because you know it is understood that every single day those are your instructions. So be ready for checkoff at 9 a.m. I will probably tell you about 10 minutes before 9 a.m. that 9 a.m. is coming but that's about as good as it's going to get. So then they know oh it is all on me and if I can't do my jobs in 10 minutes I better start way before mom gives me that 10 minute warning to finish up and get ready for the checkoff time. Letting them know what an understood instruction is helps them take that skill that they've developed of following instructions and move it into them giving themselves instructions and holding themselves accountable, which is a great step towards self-government. Before I get to my next tips for how to help your children get their chores and morning routines done without a lot of nagging, be sure to leave me a comment of other things that you would like to learn from me here on this channel. So I'm answering this question today because somebody asked. If you ask, I promise you I will take a look at it and if it fits into my filming schedule, we will try to get to your question too. If you want your children to be successful at their understood instructions, it's a good idea to understand pre-teaching. So pre-teaching is something that a parent does to prepare the child's brain to follow through on the skill development that you have already pre-taught them before that moment. So a pre-teaching can be something simple, something like, okay, right now I'm going to be giving you an instruction, be sure to do your morning routine. Or remember your morning routine are understood instructions and I'm going to be checking those off at 9 a.m. So that's just one pre-teach that you can do that will help them. It's kind of a merciful thing in the minute to remind them until it becomes just very automatic that they need to get started right then in that minute. So pre-teaching is different than nagging because what you're doing is you're saying, here's the setup, here's the skill you need. Okay, that's it. Now I'm, set, I'm stepping away. Way. One other little pre-teach that I already mentioned was remember you could tell them I will pre-teach you probably about 10 minutes before to let you know it's almost time for checkoffs just in case you need to hurry and finish up, right? So that's laying the foundation for another pre-teach to occur, which then means you're not nagging them. You're just letting them know that there might be a couple of pre-teaches that happen, but it's really on you. Now what happens if they don't do their chores? Maybe that morning routine just didn't seem fun that day. Some parents make the mistake of battling over the chores throughout the entire day. Don't do that. You need to have a system in place that backs you up when your children don't follow instructions. So the teaching self-government system basically has it all laid out. If they don't follow instructions, then you do an effective correction. If they accept their consequence and they follow through on that correction, meaning they would earn an extra chore as well as follow through with what they didn't accomplished before, then fine. But if they don't accept that consequence, then we move into something called the rule of three if they're older, or maybe even a calm down place and then another effective correction if they're younger. So there is a process that we go through and I always know what's next. I don't have to make it up, which means I don't have to nag. I don't have to cajole or do any kind of manipulation that would not be healthy for the relationship or lead to their self-government. So make sure that you do correct. Now in our family, we did decide that because I didn't want the morning routines and chores to hijack the school day, we were a homeschool family, that we would have a certain time when those things would be done and any negative consequences would also be done. So make sure that you decide upon that ahead of time as well. So I said, I'm going to be checking off all of the morning routines at 9 a.m. At that point, I will tell you if you've earned any other extra chores and if you happen to go out of control we'll do the rule of three and we'll deal with that as well but you will then do the morning routine as well as the extra chores at playtime so at the time where you would normally go out and play with friends or do things that you wanted to do then this will be the time that you will do those so make sure that you know you're picking that if you do it then because we're not gonna have it take over the school day so keep that in mind sometimes parents keep going and going and going honestly if they're not accepting the consequence if they're still not doing it after you've corrected them probably they're out of instructional control and you need some more intensive teaching measures to help them choose to become back into control so that they can self-govern themselves. 
I've just talked about a few things, just a couple of little skills and tips for you in this video, but there are more skills that I can teach you. If you've liked this video, I'm pretty sure you're going to like the next video too, which is called four skills to transform your parenting. In that video, you will learn four other skills that you will need to help your children learn self-government and make your days much smoother. So click on the link now and I'll see you there.